Keep your eyes focused on the problem, not the distraction. Warrior class, zoo. Stand up. Warrior class, zoo. Rise up. Warrior class, zoo. Speak up. Warrior class, zoo. Show up. Warrior class, zoo. Smoke them out. Manta! 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 Wake your punk ass up. Peace, blessings, and black power, family. It's a Maja way too. This video is going to be a visual. So my normally I say, you know, you don't have to worry about the visuals because it's just for audio purposes. But I'm gonna start to also incorporate a little bit of visuals so you can actually see what I'm also trying to describe as far as the coward class. So you already get the audio. The audio is best basically just men and or women talking. And you can see where I was coming from as far as that's the way cowards talk, that's the way coons think. But also, you all have to understand, there's also visual representations out there. So in my last video, it was, you know, the little boy uh, in the process of physical training, jujitsu, and he was having a difficulty overcoming his fear as far as being trained on how to perform the technique and or exercise. In this particular video, same instructor, <laughs> different child. And still, the child thinks a specific way, so therefore he acts a specific way. And what I wanted to discuss is how black America, coons, cowards, collaborators are thinking about many, many, many situations that have come up in a human's life. I am under the impression that I want men and or women, boy and or girl, to not move out of fear but move more so out of understanding. You're gonna hear the man say, don't focus on the distraction, focus on me. And what I'm always trying to get people to understand is, focus on what's really going on, not just how you feel about a situation or what you've been told. Um, so I'm not here to lecture so much as complain, so much as to do whatever I normally would do. What I'm really wanna do this time is, on this particular one, is show you how and where your fathers failed you. We already know you can hear the buzz in the streets, the buzz in the education streets, the buzz in the, buzz in the knowledge dispensary speech. Your mothers are the reason why you are the way that you are. When I say it's your mother's fault, I need to be clear. She didn't create it. She, re she uh, reinstilled it. She per perpetuated it. Someone else came up with that idea. But your mother, because she's a female, it made sense to her out of fear. Let's be, let's be clear. Your mom was not moving out of the clarity of her own mind. She moved out of fear. Something and someone came in and it made her afraid to more or less do the right thing. She went ahead and did what she thought was acceptable because she was afraid to be punished by those that made her afraid. Let's let's get that clear. You hear a lot of buzz talk. Men are running around talking about, women are running around talking about a man's job is to provide and, or to protect. Well, if a man's job is to provide or to protect, then that means if you're not present, how can you provide or how can you protect? If you're not present either because of death, you're not present either because of inability, you're not present for whatever the reason is. If you're not there when she needs you there, then how are you providing and or how are you protecting? So what happens is, is the intruder will make the new rules. The kidnapper will make the new rules. Whoever's in physical dominance at that point in time, they're making the rules. And you're either going to abide by those rules or you're going to be a victim of not abiding, abiding by those rules. So we have already established black Americans, Africans are weak. You're weak in the context of, well, what did the other nationalities do? When, when enslavement came to the other races of people, when enslavement came, mistreatment or injustice came to 
other races or nationalities or tribes of people, how did those people handle the situation when it was their turn? And you guys got the information and you guys got the knowledge. And what you're now learning is, is that Africans chose to go into slavery. And what you're now learning is Africans chose to be treated unjustly. It doesn't matter the why. Let's not get hung up on the nuances. No matter what words you choose, no matter what words you put in the sentence, what words you take out of the sentence, a choice was made. Whether it was made under duress or whether it was made by force or whether it was made by fear, a choice was made. It's a sarcastic way of looking at it, but at the end of the day, you chose this. You chose it because one, you didn't abide by the rules, the regulations and the laws that your people, you Christians, your so so-called God gave you. You chose because you didn't choose to follow the rules, the laws and the regulations, the policies and the procedures that your leaders or you Egyptologians, your gods and their all those many deities told you to do. They told you to do something specific and you did not do it simply because you did not do it. It allowed you to be what unprotected and uncovered. And since you was unprotected and uncovered, what happens is those that are attacking eventually will have their way because you lost favor. Well, why did you lose favor? You lost favor for the exact same reasons why you individual cowards, coons, bootlegs, collabor bootlegs, collaborators, the scared ones are always repeating the process. You are always repeating the process. You're scared to speak up. You're scared to talk. You're scared to raise your hand. You're scared of the repercussions. And because you're scared of the repercussions, whether they be good or whether they be bad, you in your mind would are is saying to yourself, I rather do what they are suggesting that I do so I can live or so whatever happened to the first examples don't happen to me. They have the they have a classic saying retreat live today to fight another day. That's what it, it makes sense. It does make sense, family. Understand what I'm saying because we do use it. But the problem is, is to fight another day aspect and you guys don't choose to fight another day. Somebody will press you. Somebody will approach you. Somebody will step to you with a situation or scenario. You will not choose the right answer. You will retreat. When you retreat, you are not teaching your sons and or daughters the right way to handle it. So when they come of age, they're not going to handle it the right way, neither. And then when they come of age, they're not going to handle it the right way. Your grand, your great grandchildren, grandchildren, nobody will handle it the right way because everybody has been taught to shut up, keep your head down and go along with the system. And if you keep repeating that pattern over a course of time, then you're not going to stop anybody from treating you unjustly or unfairly. You don't have the tools. You don't have the proper understanding and you're not properly educated and you're not properly prepared. You're ill-equipped and you're uninformed in order to be successful at accomplishing whatever goal it was that you were set out to accomplish. You're just not going to be successful. And I need to be clear when I use the word successful. Successful doesn't always mean a victory in stop period. Never happen again. That's not what success means in a general sense. Success means I accomplish my mission. I accomplish my mission, meaning if you have a relay race where there's four of us, I run X amount of yards one lap around. I pass the baton to the next person. I've finished my mission. I got two people in front of me and two people behind me. I finish my mission by running my lap within the appropriate amount of time, within the designated amount of time. And I was able to beat the other two opponents, which I'm also competing against at the same time. Now I hand my baton off to my teammate. It is now my teammate's job to carry that baton the rest of the way. But I handled my mission. My mission is complete and it was successful. Even though the race continues, my mission, my part of doing this, my part of the job is complete. And together we get a gold medal. 
Together, we win the race. What is happening with African Americans, specifically African Americans, foundational black Americans is you have a coward gene. You have a coward's ideology. You have a coward's way of living through this world. And it doesn't matter the age. And it doesn't matter the physical impairment. What matters most of all is the way that you process information. The way that you process information boils down to whether or not you're going to make the right choice or not make the right choice. And once you're confronted for not making the right choice, how are you going to react? How are you going to behave? Most cases, when a person who wants to fix this is told that they did something inappropriate or wrong, they adjust their behavior. They modify their behavior so that moving forward, they don't get so much backlash. But in the cases that we are now seeing with Black America in 2021 is with all the evidence, with all the facts, with all the data, with all the statistics, you're still not choosing the right choice. So now you got to study, you got to analyze, you got to learn, you got to watch. Why did you choose that over that? And they're going to lie. That's just the way it works. Why did you choose this over that? They're going to lie. That's just the way it works. And they usually give you three reasons why they chose whatever choice they made, which is the incorrect choice. I said to you before, I never want to talk about a person's name. I don't do that. I would rather talk about behavioral patterns and talking points. People who speak this way are people usually and or generally they are under the, they are under this type of mindset. People who generally speak the opposite way are generally under this mindset. And when I'm what I'm trying to display with the videos, the reason why I'm trying to show you the videos is is I'm trying to show you how like a, like the child, you the uh, adult, you're making the same type choices. You're making them prematurely. You're making them uninformed and you're making them simply out of fear, fear of the repercussions, fear of what's going to happen, fear of the penalties, fear. And because you guys keep moving out of fear, in essence, the enemy, intruder, rapist, um, what all those classic words for, I'm going to do another thing for you guys. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get the, um, synonyms for intruders these are the synonyms which are other words that can be used to imply the same thing synonyms for the word intruder you have burglar criminal infiltrator interloper invader raider thief tres trespasser there were 17 words that i looked up i'm not going to give you all 17 you can find that on thesaurus.com thesaurus.com 17 words 17 synonyms that also mean intruder. Go back to our archives and get an understanding of what we're talking about. This is why you got to watch it more than once. I watch a lot of videos more than once. Other people's videos to get a better understanding, to get a, 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 a more complete outlook on things and to always stay militant. These are the types of phrases. These are the types of word categories in which words are used. Words are used via homonym, ho uh, homophones, antonyms, synonyms, homographs. That's four categories in which words are used to confuse the masses. So what is an antonym? An antonym, I'm going to give you the literal definition. And then I'm going to probably give you an example. Let's see what time gives me. Antonyms, a word of opposite meaning. Well, what do you mean? Give me an example. Bad equals good. Ugly equals pretty. Tall equals short. That's your examples of antonyms. Well, now you got another one. There's three to go. It's four in total. Now you got synonyms. Synonyms, one of two or more words or expressions of the same language that have the same or nearly the same meaning in some of all senses. Example to synonyms, big, gigantic, huge, enormous, Titanic, small, tiny, microscopic, little, miniature. Those are examples of antonyms. Then you got homographs. Homographs, literal meaning. Words that are spelled alike, 
but have different meanings or pronunciations. Example, read, R-E-A-D, read, R-E-A-D, not the color. If you put it in a sentence, what did you read? R-E-A-D. Well, I read R-E-A-D. Bat as an animal, B-A-T. Then you got bat as in uh, sporting equipment, B-A-T. Spelled the same way, but used for two different purposes. Then you got lead, which is L-E-A-D which is a metallic metal. Then you got lead, which is L-E-A-D, which can also be used as a lead. Either I led him to drink some water or I'm going to lead him to drink some water, but it's spelled the same way. Then you got homophones. Homophones, literal definition, words that are spelled differently but sound alike and have different meanings. So you have pair, P-A-I-R, then you have which is the fruit. Then you have pear, P-A-P-E-A-R, which is two. Then you have pear, P-A-R-E. Those are differences. You have bear, B-A-R-E, barefoot. Then you have bear, B-E-A-R, which is the animal. You have hair, H-A-I-R, which is the follicle on your head. Then you have hair, H-A-I-H-A-R-E, which is the rabbit. And basically, the reason why I gave you those examples is because of what I'm trying to demonstrate, show you guys, correlate to you guys is fear. You guys are saying that you're not scared. You guys are saying that you're not cowardly. But you guys need to understand no matter what words we use, the lex, the English lexicon is very, very vast. Let me get with you this. When I look on the Internet, everything you got to guys got to follow through with us, right? Pull up a chair and learn something, right? I looked this thing up on dictionary.com, thesaurus.com, and it came up with 109 words that are synonymous, synonym to the word fear. Of course, you know I'm not going to read all 109 words. We ain't moving like that. You're going to get the gist of what I'm saying with just a few words. Keep it nice and simple. One of the words is angst, anxiety, concern, despair, dismay, doubt, dread, horror, jitters, panic, scare, suspicion, terror, unease, uneasiness, worry, adherence, agitation, aversion, all. What I'm the reason why I'm doing this is because whatever word you choose and you don't know all of the words, it means the same thing or close to the same thing and what you guys have to re what you guys have to relearn is is that you are scared you are scared of not paying your rent you are scared of not being able to pay your card note you are scared of not being successful in this world especially after you went and told everybody your ideas and your path to success or glory and it may end up being a failed past path to success or glory you are afraid of those things but what we need to focus on is why are you afraid of those things and in general cases it is because you do not want to fight against the system of white supremacy and or racism. It is clear you are not fighting against the system of good or evil. If you were fighting against the system of good and or evil, then you would be more of a participant. But you're not even participating against that. Yes, you're running around here and you <clears throat> have the ability to repeat Bible verses. But if you were really serious about whatever it is that come out of your mouth, it would be reflective. And first, your children, your children would be the first example of whether or not you're on the right path. For those that do not have children, it will be your lifestyle that confers whether or not you're on the right path. If you are on the right path, you do not need a hundred million dollars a year. No matter what you're doing with it, you wouldn't need it because by the time you collect it, by the time you collect a hundred million dollars every year, if you were on the right path, you would have charities, you would have donations, you would see the people, the people would be so you're looking at the world shelters you would end up giving a bulk of your money away okay i can make a hundred thousand a year doing this okay but i don't really need a hundred thousand a year not me 
I was living off of 20,000. I was living off of 15,000. I was living off, even though I was on welfare, I was living off X amount of dollars a year. So if I get uh, uh, um, a million, I don't need a whole million. I don't need all that. So then what you would do when you get that million is, of course, you would carve out a little bit so you can live comfortably, safe and secure in the proper environment and properly be and be properly protected in the proper environment. When that million comes back around next year, if you've already established it, then you won't need the same amount next year. Maintenance, if anything. Then you say, I'm going to give this much to the school. I'm going to give this much to the university. I'm going to give this much to trade. I'm going to give this much to daycare. I'm going to give this much to transportation. Next year, another million comes through. You don't need that much for maintenance because you spent the first year purchasing. The second year, maintaining. Throughout the year, you're maintaining. Plus, you got other monies where it invests and it's like self-sustaining and or self-sufficient. Well, you don't you don't necessarily need that million to come in every year, every month, every week, every year, every day. It become it creates a system all on its own. So when you get that other million coming in, depends on what you do for a living, but you understand what I'm getting at. When you get that other money coming in, you're not needing it per dollar. You don't take trips around the world. You don't do this. You don't do that. So you're not blowing your million. You're living comfortably off of probably, to be realistically honest, you're living comfortably probably off of a hundred thousand. And what you would teach yourself is how to take a hundred thousand and stretch that hundred thousand an entire year. And you would go to the bank and say, well, I want it to come out of this account at this amount per week, per every two weeks, like a regular paycheck. And you would pay yourself. So at the end of the month, you got what is needed. At the end of the year, you got what is needed. And then as that money is being reciprocated or duplicated for the following fiscal year, you got another mill, but you don't need the mill. Well, man, I got an eight hundred dollar. I got an eight hundred million dollar mansion. You don't need it. That means you're not living according to the right path. You're gluttonous. These are the examples I'm explaining. You're gluttonous, whether it be food or whether it be materialistic gains. You're gluttonous. You're not living according to the Christian values and you're not living according to the black liberation values. The reason why I'm I'm, I'm doing this is to show to you guys there's a reason why you're making the wrong decisions. However, I explained it full circle There's a reason why you're making the wrong decisions and there's a reason why you're going to keep making the wrong decisions. If you are making the right decisions, the first example, if you are single, would be your lifestyle. The second example is your children. How do they think? How do they walk? How do they talk? How do they problem solve? How do they address situations? How do they avoid situations? Now, of course, all instructions have to come out in a perfect presentation. A perfect presentation is exactly what it says. No way, no how could you, the listener, have an issue with whatever I said or spoke because it's perfect. But if it's imperfect, of course, you're going to find an area to exploit it, a weak chain or a weak link. And we real we we, we add doubts. We know nothing is perfect. The only thing that is perfect is the path of life and death. That is the only thing that is perfect that we can really say. Everything else is up for debate or up for discussion. But we know the path to life to death is perfect. The path from life to death is perfect. So the reason why I'm doing the the, the, the visual this time is to, so you can see how you male, how you female are going through this life. You are going through this life full of fear because one, you didn't learn it from your fathers. Male, I'm always targeting the males. You did not learn it from your mothers. And it is time that we change. Look at these videos. Go to this man's original page. He has a ton of these. Of course, I'm going to borrow a few just for learning purposes. But I'm not going to be up here doing a whole bunch because that's his content. And I'm going to do my own. And all I'm doing is just getting the information out. The same thing I would do. With a chapter, book, or verse, I would tell you I read this book, give you the title, and I would tell you I read it from this author, give you that author's name, and then I would tell you what page or where, whereabouts where in the book I got it from. But you still have to go get 
the original copy book and the videos are the same way the videos are not up to sit up here and hijack other people's hard work and their time so just so i can get me a couple of likes i'm not i'm not here to do that i'm here to explain to you how you became a coward why you're still a coward and chances are why most likely your sons are cowards and it's going to befall them the only way your children can come out of it is if your children are sitting down look listening to this these videos myself and others and getting a different perspective other than your coward ass ways because your coward ass ways they re-emerge Every time they'll reemerge on a football game, they'll reemerge in whether or not of a caterpillar, caterpillar turns into a butterfly. Your coward ass ways will come out some way, somehow. And if that child is listening to you, then chances are you are grooming a perfect slave. And I'm gonna say this, ending this on this note right here: Black men are weak, and that's gonna be my next topic black men are weak you have been made weak you have been made weak because of matriarchy and let me get this clear you're not going to be able to stop a matriarch women live longer than men what will happen is like always is a reset women will run it it will get chaotic it will fuck up the men will get tired of the way they're being treated the way they're being handled then they will establish correction rules regulations raw law policies procedures then the men will stand up and say enough you had a you had your chance and you fucked it up now we're going to take control well eventually those men are going to die off as those men die off and the women sage and the women praise and the women crystals and the women carper and the women uh tattoos and the women keep doing witch shit what happens is is she keeps tapping into that energy to control you she can't physically beat you so she keeps tapping into that energy to control you and that energy energy keeps giving her the negative or improper information then what she does is is she keep she'll groom the child to abandon the old ways and step into her ways and when those children come of age they it makes sense because now the men are gone the men are gone because of war the men are gone because of age the men are gone for whatever reason cancer heart attack strokes the men are gone for whatever reason but the while they're gone it is the one man who will not carry on the lessons it is the one man who will not carry on the law it is the one man who will not carry on the policies and the procedures what happens when that happens is is now the outsiders come in and say they're weak now so let's go get them well what do you mean they're weak well we've been seeing them not adhering to the old laws what do you mean they're weak well we've been seeing them not adhering to the old traditions they're losing they're stepping more and more away from their culture this they're not doing this they're not doing that so when the outsiders see that what the outsiders then do they come up with the concept of penetration how can we get in well we can't just waltz in there the only way we can get in there is we gotta blah 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 next thing you know it's a john smith pocahontas thing all over again and it happened in egypt and it happened in kush and it ha happened in kemet it happened all over again because of the women well why because the women want are fighting with the male the feminine spirit it's fighting with the female. The feminine spirit is fighting with the masculine spirit. The feminine energy is fighting with the masculine energy. But make no bones. The energy is energy. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the form, the form what you and I can see. Focus on the energy. Both of them are the same energy because there is no such thing as one. It's always a pair. Pair of snails, pair of worms, pair of bugs, pair of bees. There's always a pair. There's always more than one. It just so happened that in the paradigm of life, one is stronger than the other. And that one being stronger than the other operates a specific way. The one that's not as strong as the other operates in the other way. And what happens is over the course of time, matriarchy comes back in existence because the female taps into that lesser power spirit energy. That's what happens. So, yes, you will have females that will um, stick to the old tradition and stick to the old ways. You will have a female. Females will do that. It's not make. Let's not say when I say what I say, it's a perfect recipe. What I'm saying is on average, 
the females want power the females want control since the females want power and the females want control and the black man has not established a system a fortified system to never ever be vetoed on this planet ever women are constantly you know going into power out of power into power out of power into power out of power whereas when you look africa's going into power out of power into power out of power into power out of power so when you examples when you look at the japanese when you look at the chinese when you look at the european they're in constant roles of power primarily because of the men there is a secret society of men in each one of those tribes in each one of those nations where those men are the ones that make sure just as their individual society gets to a tipping point those men like godzilla like king kong those men they come out of the shadows and they reinforce the old laws the old rules the old regulations the old code and then you'll see a transition where they get their shit together and the next thing you know they maintain their power where africa hasn't done that in africa african americans are going to have to start to do that moving forward we're going to have to have a secret society of men that move for the favor of men men that move for the favor of their nation so that their nation and all of its and their descendants are never to be oppressed again are never to be enslaved again ever again and if black men don't start to do that you better rest assured these afghanistans arabs that are coming over these hispanics that are coming over they will enslave both genders they will enslave all of you for a final enslavement and they will wipe the planet of all black folks it is the women that the reason why africa went into bondage it is the women for the reason why africa went into slavery it is the women for the reason why africa is now facing the the, the the issues that it is facing black men are weak and you were made weak because of the women and it is now time that we get ourselves back on track it is now time that when we process information when we listen to information it doesn't matter who it comes from just listen Chew the, chew the meat and spit out the bone. Because what's irrelevant to you does not mean it's not relevant to the mission. It may be irrelevant to you, but it does not mean it is not relevant to the mission. So if it's irrelevant to you, then that means you don't complete the mission. You go to the point of your completion and you stop. The pieces of the information that you feel as though is not important, not relevant, that would be someone else's, else's part of the mission so they can uh, take it further warrior class zoo stand up warrior class zoo rise up warrior class zoo speak up warrior class zoo show up warrior class zoo smoke them out okay family so now that i finished gotten that app the reason why i went ahead and i talked for so long because i was leading up to the video i was trying to get you ready and prepared to listen to the video so that when you look at the video you see the video you can put a little bit more in perspective you can put a little bit more in context check out the video look at me you can still Split see this right? deal with your anxiety Just punch it out. Uh -uh, no 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 good relax Nothing has happened yet, son. We have a leg, he got back. You can respond on a what if you will get in trouble. You got it, just like that. That's you have how you to wait some time right. before you make that decision. Yeah. If you move too yeah. soon, move now. now. Move just like you did. Yeah. I'll abort. Yeah. It just hit you in your head. Stand back up. Move when you think you should move on this weapon. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah. Right, let's go. Good. Shine. Set up. Shalos. Good. All right, let's step it up. Back up, quick. There you go. Back up. Yes. Big difference. You got it? It's not this, it's me. I'm the problem. Keep your eyes focused on the problem, not the distraction. Fair use at disclaimer. This site is for educational purposes only. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research.